Hello, welcome to January's edition of Lions Pride. I'm Steve Murray, the principal of Chelmsford High School. I'm here with our host, Al Thomas, and our also other co-host, which is Dean John McIsaac from Whittier House. As I said, we're here to celebrate January students of the month, and our first student of the month is from Emerson House. It's Warren Waligo. Warren has quite a busy schedule, as we noticed at the, at the breakfast. He has a packed academic schedule of six AP classes, AP English, AP Environmental Science, AP Physics, AP Spanish, AP Calculus, and AP Computer Science and Programming. He also spends his free time doing the Model UN, which is an amazing program we'll find a little more about. And he's excited, he's the first family member to, to attend college, I believe he said. And with, uh, with this, he, he has helped in the summertime doing all of our IT stuff, which is a massive job we've seen, and we really appreciate all the work you do to get us ready for the start of school. So congratulations, Warren, and thank you for being here. Thank you for having me, Steve. Good to have you. A lot of people aren't familiar with the Model UN program. Maybe you just take a minute to explain what that's all uh, about. Yeah, sure. So it's basically just a um, program where we all get together. We pick our own separate um, countries and um, split up into committees to represent them, whether that be with health, with um, NATO or Security Council and yeah it's basically a lot of fun we just spend time debating and come up with ways to solve problems in new and unique ways yeah where have you gone this year um, well I haven't actually went anywhere this year yeah chance. yeah okay but um, we're go gonna go be going to UMass Lowell in April yeah, very good there's a lot of time on that how much time do you think you put to get ready for that event well, it's usually a lot of times being packed into preparing for when the event comes up. Um, we don't really know um, who we're going to be or what country is going to be when we get there, but it should be in a, about a month we'll, we'll be preparing, we'll be ready, and we'll be writing up our papers and researching the country. Yeah. It's like many things, um, like that at the Harvard model, you want, because I used to be advisor to that, mm -hmm. to the our club. Teams flying in from California for, for these things are, you know, all, from all over the place. And the team came in, all, this is a number of years ago, all with their own laptops and everything else. And my kids are looking like, you flew here <laughs> and you have laptops. It's like, <laughs> yeah. So you obviously are good at computers. What are, what are some things you want to do after school when you graduate? Um, after school, um, probably, um, well, I was thinking about maybe pursuing a master's, if not that. Um, probably just start working. You know, I was interested in like going in the field of computers and engineering, stuff with electronics and building, kind of a mix of computers and engineering and electrical engineering. Yeah. You were into, you were into designing or or programming software. Um, well, I've done mostly programming here at the CHS, but I also would love to start actually designing electronics and things like that. Very cool. Yeah. Now you immigrated to the United States. What was the what was a major challenge, if there were any, for you in terms of ad adapting to life here in the States? Um, probably the first one would be trying to just get everything together with the dialect. Like some things are said differently here, like waters were here. Were like, <laughs> and I also had some trouble with, say, the currency, like especially the coins with like dimes and and the sense being different and everything. That's true. But yeah, it, was, it, was, it wasn't too much of a challenge, but it was somewhat difficult. But I, I'm kind of lucky that I had the summer to kind of ease myself in there before I start school. Was it tough to learn the language when no one in New England pronounces ours? <laughs> <laughs> kind of, yeah. 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 What are your plans next year? Next year? Um, probably start college, um, whichever one will take me if I'm lucky. <laughs> and, um, yeah, I wanted to see if I can maybe get involved in internships and projects in the school campus and um, maybe try a new sport. That would be interesting. Are you, gonna, are you going to school? You want to go to school nearby or, or far away? Um, yeah, nearby, maybe in Boston. I don't want to go too far away, but yeah, if, um, if the school is further, say, Michigan, accept me, then I might, I might try them. That's great. Yeah. Well, you've done a great job. I'm particularly impressed with the number of AP classes yeah. that you're taking. You. Exactly. But uh, on behalf of the Chelsea Rotary Club, I want to congratulate you and wish you the very best as you go on next year. Thank you. Okay. Congratulations. Mm -hmm. Congratulations. Well. Thank you. Our next student of the month is also from Emerson House. It's Kathleen Castles. <laughs> Kathleen has AP Statistics, AP Calculus, AP Spanish. She does Anatomy and Physiology. She's also in the National Honor Society, the Spanish Honor Society. 
and she, she's a varsity winter and spring uh, track captain. She's a captain of the cross country, but she's also in the spring and winter track. And she's also joined the club uh, Lead Like a Girl, which started, I think, a year or two ago, which is, which is pretty amazing. She does a lot of volunteer time, from t tutoring to youth track coach, religious education teacher, and she does the Chelsea Community Read-In. And she plans to major in college in math. Is that correct? Yeah. Excellent. Welcome. Great to have you. <laughs> Thank you for having me. When you were at breakfast the other day, you talked about service projects in, I think, New Jersey and Pennsylvania. Want to talk about yeah. that a little bit? Yeah, so I traveled to New Jersey and Pennsylvania over the summer, and it was a week long, and then we would be assigned to a service project for a week with other teenagers from across the country. So I worked at like a low-income daycare, and then we also worked on a farm, and we supplied food to local food pantries. So it was really inspiring for and me. How long was that? Um, it was a week. A week? Yeah. Sounds like a good experience. Yeah, it was. Tell me a little bit about Lead Like a Girl, because I'm sure a lot of people don't know what that's all about. Yeah, so it's a club that meets usually once every two weeks or so, and um, then at the end of the year, in usually March or April, we perform a workshop at the local library for um, like young girls, usually like third or fourth grade. Mm -hmm. And what kinds of things do you do with them? Um, just like instill leadership skills in them, and then um, just kind of like encourage them, stuff like that. Well, I think our school, a lot of times you hear everybody's encouraged the w young women to get into the STEM, STEM field. areas. And I'm, it's not a problem at our school. No. <laughs> We're here, math. So what would you like to do with math and, and why math? Um, well, I like math. I've always liked how it's so cut and dry and then how there's just one sure. answer that's not really debatable. <laughs> <It's> just, <laughs> and so that's what I've always liked. And then I hope to maybe look at statistics. Right now I'm taking the statistics course at um, CHS and I really like that and just um, seeing it apply to real world situations. Right. Do you want to go to school locally or what are your plans? Um, you know? Yeah, pretty local. I don't think I want to go too far. I think my farthest school is about like three hours away. So. What's your first choice? Um, I don't really have a first choice right now. I kind of am still looking at school, still um, looking for stuff. <laughs> What were the challenges of being the captain of those cross-country and track teams? Um, I think just making sure everyone feels welcome. So we ran captain's practices throughout the summer and making sure the freshmen know what to do and we would text them, make sure they're coming, and um, just making sure the team really has some like team bonding skills even before the, te before the season starts, which is really important. Has the uh, cross-country at the middle schools, has that helped? Yeah, we try to uh, get um, our coach, one of our coaches works at the middle school, so she sometimes recommends people to us, and then usually there's an athletic night for incoming freshmen and parents in the spring, so we went to that and tried to recruit some runners that way as well. Running seems like a passion of yours. Is that something you've always done, or kind of as um, you've gone through CHS, get involved no, more? Yeah, there? I kind of, I started freshman year just going, um, I went to some of the captain's practices, and I really liked it. Liked it since. It's something you have to like to do for three seasons. That's yeah, right. yeah, definitely. <laughs> we be running in college, you think? Um, I don't know if I'll be running on a team, but I definitely want to continue running for enjoyment. Yeah. I did it as a club sport. At, at yeah, a, at college, which is fine. Yeah, a years. Well, that's great. And uh, as far as uh, volunteer, you do a lot of volunteering. What's the one that you like? You've liked the most over the years that you got a lot out of? Um, I think definitely the community service projects in um, Pennsylvania. <coughs> that really helped me because I was able to see low-income areas also in another part of the country, and I was also able to meet new people because everyone that I met was. We only had about one or two people from Chumsford in my group, so I could meet other people That's from great. like Maryland, Florida. That's Good for you. On behalf of the Chelmsford Rotary Club, I want to congratulate you on your great achievement in Chelmsford, and we wish you the very best as you go on next year. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. You go. Next up um, for January Student of the Month is from Whittier House. It's Drosty Patel. Uh, Drosty is currently enrolled in AP U.S. History, AP Computer Science, Senior Odyssey Programming in College Algebra. Uh, Drosty is a member of the National Honor Society. World Language Honor Society, also a member of Student Council, serving as a secretary, and many other clubs. Um, she has achieved many achievements at CHS, excellence in ELL, excellence in World Language. Uh, she's a freshman mentor. Uh, Drasty arrived here 
you know, speaking two languages, and now she's developed herself to speaking more than that. Um, after life at CHS, let's hear a little about that. What are your plans, Jassy, when you complete? Welcome, first of all. And, and Welcome. You. What are we doing after CHS? Um, probably gonna. I t um, thought that I will major in computer science and would like to get a PhD in that field. Excellent. Uh, Ms. Hill wanted me to bring up um, the scholarship that you just were awarded with. So kind of tell us a little about the UMass Lowell Project Lead the Way and all that stuff. Um, yeah, I was awarded with um, Project Lead the Way scholarship and it's um, for four years and I'm receiving five thousand dollars for four years. Wow. Are you excited about oh. that? Yeah, I'm <laughs> yeah. excited. But your parents are really yeah, thrilled. Yeah, they're you. really proud of that. What I guess has led you in that direction. Obviously there's we have some Project Lead the Way at Chelmsford High School. We have some great teachers teaching the programming and all the other PLTWs. What has kind of paved the way for you to really get interested in that field? Um so my dad was a computer teacher. So um he was he was the one like to tell me how it works, everything programming and things. So um, I got interested through him, and um, then I asked Ms. Hill um, if there are any classes about programming or computers here that I can take, and she was like, um, you should take programming or PLTW we're offering this year. So I started taking the class, and I mean, I, I love it. <laughs> it's That's just great. great. Ms. KB teaches, and she's awesome. <laughs> That's awesome. Is the decision made to go to UML, or are you still kind of fielding? Um, no, I'm still applying to colleges. Excellent. I meant regular decisions, so. Good. Good for you. Good stuff. All of your involvement in after-school activities, um, <laughs> student council, TJF, coding, lead like a girl, kind of tell us what's your favorite club, what's the one you're most passionate about, what you get most enjoyment of, out of? I usually enjoy TJF. It's a lot of volunteering, plus we do fundraising, and since I'm the treasurer, so I know like um, we raise um, money that um, gave seven people water for um, sufficient time of their life, so it was pretty nice achievement for all of us and we loved it. Um, I also do Melting Pot, which is, we all know it's an international lunch, and um, we organize l international lunch for teachers, and it's just awesome. And I usually ask them, like, what was your highlight of the year, like, end of the year, and they're like, it's always international lunch, so which... It's quite, like, it's qu it's quite, quite an offering <laughs> to put out there. It's amazing. Is there a date for that yet? Um, I th we haven't decided, but it's in still April. Like, I was say, usually it's yeah. April, like, after yeah. vacation. I feel like, excellent. What's been the uh, best service project through TJF, or the one that's made the most money to, you know, supply these people with water or any other, you know, group that you've raised the money for? I think it was one of this, um, the project that we did for water. Um, we also do Rise Against Hunger, which is um, really nice. We usually um, supply food and we help out putting food together and things like that. So it's fun. Mr. Thomas plays a major hand in that, if you didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> With the it's April 2nd, save, save the date. I uh, really volunteer in that, yes. so it's fun. Okay. And you also set the breakfast. You uh, have many languages. What are the four, is it four languages? Well, I, uh, well, the three of them I know now is um, Gujarati, Hindi, and English, and um, learning Spanish. <laughs> I've taken three years at CHS, which is pretty much proud to me. Um, I know a little bit of Rajasthani, but I don't know, like, I can't read and stuff, but I can speak. Would you be looking at doing a language when you get to college? Yeah. What would that be? I think I'll go with Spanish. Spanish. Oh, yeah. That, that's impressive. <laughs> you need to learn, that's great. Um, you've been recognized by Ms. Hill quite a bit for all the achievements you've had at CHS and also your classroom teachers. What, what teachers that you've had have been, had the most impact on you? I would say it's Miss Morrill, the skills teacher, because um, I, I came here like I, I didn't know the language at all. And she was like helping me out with like every um, test, homework, she'll read it to me and it's like really great. And like when you have somebody to like help you, it's just like you feel the bond with them. Excellent. She's great. <laughs> She's great. <laughs> Well, like these students who have been up before you, you've done a fantastic job in Chelmsford. Very proud of you, and we wish you the very best as you go forward. And on behalf of the Ro Rotary Club of Chelmsford, I present you with this plaque. Thank you. Okay. Congratulations. Good job, <clears throat> Our next student of the month for January is from Whittier House, Matt Doherty, or as I like to call him, Matty. Uh, Matt is currently enrolled in Honors Anatomy and Physiology, Calculus, Senior Odyssey, um, and American History through Film. 
Uh, Matt has been a member of Class Reps for quite some time, member of the varsity baseball team, uh, and he's currently the president of the class of 2019. Congratulations. Uh, very active in the freshman mentor program, spends his summer at Kimball's, like many of our locals, um, and, <laughs> um, and plans to move on to a four-year college next year. Matt, welcome. Thank you. How are you doing? I'm doing well. How are you? Good. Just getting ready for the dance on oh, Saturday yeah. night for the senior very class. Big thing. So, class president, obviously a, a major role for your classmates and really for the entire building because you run so many events that affect so many people. Yeah. Kind of walk us through um, what a day in the life of the class president is and um, you know, what's, what are your biggest stressors right now? <laughs> right now, specifically, is, uh, well, the dance. I mean, we're still trying to find chaperones and everything, and with the snow possibly coming in, we don't know if we'll necessarily have it or if it'll be postponed or whatever. Um, normal day, um, I mean, I'd go to all my classes like a normal student. It's more after school where we have the meetings or I met, meet with uh, my fellow officers or my advisors. Um, also right now we're trying to track down some people about caps and gown sizing. We have a couple more on the list that we're looking for, but other than that. Has it been like a major change in your like academic day or just kind of everything after school you can still focus on everything you got to get done? Um, or a it's, it's pretty much, yeah, a little bit of both, I guess. I mean, I, I have an independent study with my advisor, so that changes the school day a little bit. Um, but, I mean, I still have all the same classes, still do my homework and all that <laughs> stuff. But, uh, Good. Yeah. Um, class reps, obviously that's kind of like a lead into, you know, the political side of, of class officers. How long are you in it? What was your enjoyment level? Is that what kind of led you in the direction of running for an office seat? Um, I actually didn't do class reps until I was elected, which uh, was kind of shocking that I was elected in the first place. <laughs> um, so it's possible. <laughs> it is possible. It is possible. Um, but I mean, it's the best decision I've made. I mean, being elected has been the best part of high school. Being president, yeah. it's just so much fun. I mean, it, I can't even really put it into words. Um, being involved with everything, no, kind of being in the background and organizing prom or banquet or any of the senior week events, it's just really special. It makes the senior year a little awesome. different. After CHS, I know your plans. What are your plans? Tell the people, you know, what you're excited about and hoping to get into. Um, so yeah, I'm going to college. Hope, well, I mean, I've gotten into a couple <laughs> places. Um, I just found out I got into um, one of my top schools, James Madison in um, Virginia, and I'm uh, still waiting on uh, UConn. Um, so those are kind of tied. I don't really know where I'll go there, but I'm going to be studying health science um, because I want to be a physician's assistant in the future. So I'll go there for four years, go to grad school, and hopefully find a job. That's great. We we looking at uh, adult pediatric. Uh, pediatric. Yeah, I think that's really rewarding to be able to help kids. So. Oh, absolutely. Um, member of the baseball team? Yeah. I know, you know, we, we talked at the breakfast, you did, you know, you laid out your goals, and I thought you did a great job of doing that. Kind of talk us about baseball and the goal of being on the team and what we're thinking about for the 2019 season. Um, well, we're hoping to maintain my spot. I mean, the left <laughs> bench needs someone to be there. So. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I, I've played baseball since I was a kid. Uh, my dad's coached. I've had, I've met a bunch of friends there. I have a bunch of friends on the team, so I'm just looking forward to continuing on playing and yeah, having some fun. What position do you play again? Um, well, again, left, left bench. bench. <laughs> um, but uh, uh, first base mostly, outfield, really wherever. That's great. Yeah. That's great. Would you want to play in a, any? Uh, uh, college adult leagues or things like that? When you um, yeah, I'm definitely going to think about playing intramural or club baseball, something like that. It's fun to stay active. Yeah, exactly. Very good. It's important. Well, enjoy from here to graduation <laughs> day because you're going to be busy. <laughs> oh, yeah. But exactly. it should be one heck of a good time. So congratulations on your election, and the class has done very well this year from what I can see. So best of luck as you go forward from the Rotary Club. Okay. Congratulations. Thank you. And now this brings us to Hawthorne House. Our Hawthorne House Student of the Month, the first one is Deviana Smith. Deviana does AP Research, AP Spanish, AP Literature and Composition. She's the National Honor Society Co-Treasurer. She's also the Spanish Honor Society President. She's in the Triumph Music Honor Society. She's part of a phenomenal group called The Thursdays. 
and she does Thomas Jefferson Forum, and it was a co-founder, I believe, of the Young Musicians Club. And you also said you wanted, you've been accepted to Boston College, and you're considering Amherst, Boston University, Williams College, where you want to major in political science and communications. Well, grad, with the pre-law track, I believe, correct? Congratulations, welcome, how are you? Thank you, I'm great, how are you? Great, thank you. So pre-law tracks, well, what, what do you envision there? Well, I definitely want to go to law school, and my <coughs> junior year before I started school, I in interned at a law firm for immigration law. So that's when I definitely, I always had an interest in being a lawyer, but I really looked at it and like went through the files, and like I found that it's something that really interests me, so I'm definitely looking into that, so. It's a huge field. A good friend of mine is a is a lawyer now for uh, for voting rights, and he goes to different cities and different uh, different townships down in the south, making sure people have equal access. That's great. So tell us about you did the Interact Club. Are you in that? Uh, no, no, no. I know. I think you were in that for uh, for the. Oh, never mind. I think that's <laughs> cut. So, the, so, the, so, so National Honor Society uh, and the Spanish Honor Society. That's a lot. You're in three of them all at once. How do you balance all that? Well, I definitely need to get a lot of sleep. It's definitely yeah. stressful. But I've noticed a lot that when the National Honor Society is very busy, that's usually towards the fall. And then I find that the Spanish Honor Society was busy at the end of the year. And Triumph's kind of just chilling throughout the, <laughs> throughout the whole year. So it's definitely not too hard to balance because we have different officers here to help manage the workload. So it's definitely doable. One of the biggest things on your resume for the people who know what's going on is Thursday. <laughs> Did you talk about going, <laughs> going to New it. York a little bit? Because we all, we, most of us know that you have gone to that level. What was it like? It's definitely amazing. So I went to New York City um, for the Thursdays to represent the Northeast Division in the International Collegiate Championship of High School Acapella. And we did that in 2018 and 2017. And it's definitely, it's very humbling to go literally to represent the whole Northeast area and see other amazing groups. And we never actually ended up placing, but I ended up watching all the other groups and they were so amazing and there's so much effort and love putting in, put into music. And for me, it showed it's not just about singing, it's about portraying something and creating emotions and bring that out on stage. So I definitely found it to be a very rewarding experience. One thing I like, if I could just fall. Um, I just wanted to share with you, you know, you came uh, with the Thursdays and a bunch of other kids from the music department to Rotary a few weeks ago. And we had invited 40 people from the senior center and they were in heaven because <laughs> it, it, the performance was fantastic. But on top of that, they did all of the traditional holiday music. And so it, it couldn't have been any better for them. And I just want you to tell the, the other kids that all 40 of them were just in heaven, you know, and, and really impressed by everybody. We love doing that. We have we always get this giant packet of Christmas music that we spent a few weeks memorizing because that's one of our biggest events. <laughs> well, I'm not trying to pull a Mr. Murray moment, but I believe your story <laughs> to the Thursdays was unique, mm -hmm. right? You you kind of kind of walk us through what led you to join the Thursdays or try out or whatever that that is. So my freshman year, I wasn't really involved in a lot of activities. I was focused heavily on academics because I believed that was what I needed to focus on for college and going like forward. And I didn't really involve myself in any activities, but it was my mom who told me that I have a good voice and I should try out for it. And when I did and I auditioned, it was literally the best feeling ever. I felt like I was smiling. I was, it was literally an amazing feeling to be up there. And I knew even if I didn't get in, that singing was something that I really loved to do. And I ended up getting into the group and then it kind of just took off from there, so. Well, the music's good, but the energy level that you bring when you guys are on stage is just, the place just raises, is raised up by it. I don't know how else to describe it, it's fantastic. I just had a two hour rehearsal, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're not raised up You're anymore. Smiling. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, uh, last, uh, other question I had for you is, would you be doing that in college, you think, looking for an acapella group? Yeah, definitely, and even if I end up not doing an acapella group, I want to do some type of music, and I realize, like, even though I don't, even though I do want to be a lawyer, and that's my main focus, I still want to remember that music is something that's really special, and it brings Enjoy. out, yeah, it's an art, and I love doing it. That's great. Well, thank you for the contributions you, that you've made to Chelmsford High School. Thank you. And uh, we're very proud, as as we are, with, with all of the students, and the Rotary Club wants to thank you and give you this plaque. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations. <clears throat>
Our last student of the month is from Hawthorne House, and it is Chad Lazine. Chad is currently enrolled in calculus, physics, robotics, civics, there's a lot of S's, in Senior <laughs> Odyssey. Uh, he's a member of the National <coughs> Honor Society, the Business Honor Society, the Varsity Ice Hockey Team, and the Varsity Baseball Team. Uh, Chad has spent a lot of hours volunteering through sport, uh, whether it be with youth baseball or youth hockey, uh, with 24-hour relay, and also helps out for the uh, drive, fight for hunger. Um, next year, Chad plans to attend the UMass Amherst or Ohio State, two big schools, but yeah. you know different parts of the country, uh, or University of South Carolina, yeah. same thing, uh, and eventually, hopefully, leading to business law. Welcome. Thank Welcome. you. Thank you for having me. Congratulations. Well, we're in the middle of hockey season. Uh, I think oh, yeah. there's a game tonight. There is an Andover. <laughs> what time? Yeah. Keep going. Uh, Seven <laughs> ten. Yeah. Okay. Big game. Um, kind of walk us through, I guess, your career at CHS and where the team's at now, and you know the enjoyment that's brought to you. Oh yeah, I mean, my career at CHS been a lot of ups and downs for the team. Uh, have won a combined eight games the past two years. Right now we're at five, so we're really we're on the come up right now, and we're in the middle of a good season so far. So we're looking to continue that. Andover is ranked in the top 20, right? Yeah, they're good. It should be a good one. Good. That's great. Um, academically, it seems like you want to go towards business law. What has led you to kind of be interested in business? Is it some courses here or at home? Yeah, it's a lot of the classes at CHS. I've taken a ton of business classes, and I've loved all of them. And I took the business law with Mr. Russo last year, and I really loved that one. I thought it was a lot of fun, especially the contractual law stuff. It was kind of tough to read, but like I, I found enjoyment with it. And then potential school choices. I love all three of them. They're all over the map, literally. <laughs> what is, what's the draw to each school? Um, all three of them are great schools. Ohio State, so I'm waiting to hear back from them, but I've just always wanted to go there for some reason. Always love their football team, so I want to go there. And then South Carolina, I know a couple kids who go there, and they love it. So I've gotten, gotten in there. And UMass Amherst, I went down there and toured it, and I loved it. I like the big schools, yeah. and those are three, three big ones. Awesome. Yeah. Business law track. What would you start? Hope to start your kind of undergrad in. I'm not so really sure. I'm, yeah, I'm gonna start with <laughs> business and see how it goes. Yeah. And hopefully, I'll move towards business law. But I'm not 100% com like committed to it. You're on the baseball team, also, I guess. Mm -hmm. um, what position do you play? Uh, third base. A hot spot. Yeah, hot <laughs> corner. Should be pretty good this year, right? Yeah, we're supposed to be really good. Yeah. A little bit of a disappointing one last last year. Mm -hmm. Missed the playoffs by one game, but we're looking to bounce back. It's a funny season because you start out at ten below zero and you end yeah, up exactly, <laughs> particularly at AR with the wind coming off yeah. the lake. But wish you the very best in that yeah. season. You're in robotics. Oh yeah. What do you like about ro robotics the most? Um, honestly, Mr. Steve's the teacher. He's the best. I never really got to know him until this year, but. He's awesome. He's one of the most fun guys. And um, I'm not really like a big mechanical guy, and mm -hmm. robotics has really like kind of like brought me an interest into that stuff. You volunteer work. A lot of it's through sport. Um, I'm fortunate enough, I see you sometimes on Sunday mornings helping out with the group that I run. Mm -hmm. um, what has led you to kind of volunteer through sport? Um, it's just fun. The little kids are a lot of fun too. And they're always like, they're usually always happy, and that's like infectious, I guess. So I like, I like spending time with the little kids. It is very true. <laughs> Would you see yourself, because you do very well in hockey, do you see yourself, you get older coaching? Um, uh, probably not. No, no? Honestly, no. Why is not that? Really, not really for me. I'd rather watch from the stands. Yeah. The coaching is a lot of work. Yeah, it's it hard. is. Well, if you want a great hockey book, I'm reading Bear Town. I recommend it to all okay. of you. It's, um, it's about a small town that the only thing that's important to anybody in the town is hockey. And then the challenges arise. So I think it would be a great book for right. somebody who plays hockey, yeah. but it's, I can't put it down. <laughs> yeah. So Spare Town, that's the name of the town. Right. Thank you. What are you looking forward to the most in your next, you know, or last four months, I should say, not the next, your, your last four months at CHS? Um, I guess just like taking in every moment, I guess, because it's all flying by so fast. I can't even believe it's already January. So I'm just looking forward to taking uh, every little thing in. Senior year, go, senior year uh, does go by very fast, senior year. Mm -hmm. Doesn't seem it. Well, thanks for all you've done for Chelmsford High School, and great luck to you for next year. And on behalf of the Rotary Club, I'd like to give you this plaque. Thank you very much. Okay. Congratulations. Thank you. And that concludes January's edition of Lions Pride.
I want to say congratulations to all of our January Students of the Month. I look forward to our February Students of the Month and we'll be here again with <laughs> Al Thomas and we'll have a different dean this time. Until then, say thank you. <laughs>